Hello everyone, welcome back to my Kimmler campaign. If you would like to continue supporting my series, do not forget to leave a like down below. Let's go look at what lands we own currently. I own a lot, that is true. Who will I go after right now? I'd love to destroy all of Bretonia. Having a buffer to keep the Wood Elves away from me would be ideal too. I'm going to keep on moving down here. Carcassonne, you've got to go away. Mundvard, you shall repair. Yeah, come on down. Let's go. I'll leave Pedavon alone for right now. I just do not want Wood Elves coming over here into my lands. Who shall we Having a Wood Elf as a next door neighbor is not really that great. Destroy. They come crap on your yard, then they're like, hey, why are you mad about it? Master. Well, I don't know. Still technology. I'm not going to give him a name until he lives for a little while longer. I could name a character, give him a backstory, then he'll die because he's a low-level character being killed by a higher-level agent. Alright. Moodvard, you can wait. Bohemon, I need you down here. Come on. Down, down you go. The other idea, I fight a bunch of goblins I move through here then I conquer the mountainside I don't know yet I haven't really decided though my true goal is to go after the king's glade if I could destroy the wood elves I'll be very happy I don't really care about keeping their lands I mean I'll try to sure but I'm about destroying them okay who's unhappy you're unhappy sure you could use more wine vintners gather the grapes blessed by the lady turning them into wine for future generations we'll take that the Wasteland is unhappy. I'm going to give you a Bellfire Hearth. Much better. I think we can now end our turn. I've got more buildings to build, don't I? Yeah, we've got to get you to Tier 4. Kimmler's Palace is only at Tier 3. What else do I have around here? Ruyon. Right, there are unique units I should be able to pick up around here. Let me have a look. No, not there. It's going to be... In a different location, right? The scoured iron mine for the knockers. There's a few others, if I remember correctly, which isn't likely. <laughs> it's really not. Well, I'll find them later. Let's end our turn. The Gash had been learning more about necromancy and planned to turn the entire world into his army. He clearly didn't like talking to people. Maybe he needed a Buddha box. I don't know. He first planned to destroy his homeland of Nekara. He had ships made of fused bone, and vampires led his legions of undead. They landed near the destroyed city of Lamia and began to invade, but he underestimated his people. They too had changed over time. They were united by a great leader, Alcadazar the Conqueror, and he was the greatest leader of his age. Not only in bureaucratic rule, but in war. They found a unified empire and made their own war constructs to fight with. Their war went on for many years, but it went back and forth. Eventually, though, Nagash would lose every single legion and his vampire captains would flee back to Nagash Shazar. Nagash was very pissed off to hear that his dark captains lost and he cursed them for all eternity. The remaining vampires fled the citadel and they all spread to the wind. They founded their own bloodlines that continue to exist to now. Next in our next part, we'll talk about Sylvania. We can't talk about vampires without talking about Sylvania. Kimmler. Oh, who's attacking them? I don't actually know. Let's move down. I need to find out. It could be Wood Elves, it could be another faction. Corruption is shooting up. They will all pay. Ah! Death the Dreadfleet. Interesting, I could leave them alone. But no, I don't believe I will. Dreadfleet, why are you always coming down here? I don't really know. Thou darest. The Vampire Counts. No treaty yet? No treaty yet. Norska, what about you? Nothing? Alright. Empire? We're improving what in relations. Interesting. The well, Empire. I'm not going to give you any gifts yet. I'm going to continue improving my own lands right now. We'll take more marble. Oh, wait, wait. That'll give me a unit. Right, the knockers. Okay. <laughs> We've got the Forest of Arden over here. 
they're still growing. Coron, very unhappy. The half dead thugs. I still need to go look at that description for them. I don't know about them. Interesting. Okay. A murky harbor for that one. We're gonna need public work for later. We'll take that. Well, we're still improving our lands. Let's go upgrade that one. I'm out of dark magic again. Moonvard will wait. What about you, Ferdinand? You're gonna stick more technology. Good work. Still more technology. I'll give another point into increased income whenever you come back to my lands later. Bohemond, he's gonna go scout around. We're moving down, down. But my goal is to go to the Black Pyramid. That's really it. I do not want to go to the east. I want to go south until I hit the Black Pyramid, meaning that we might have to fight the Vampire Coast. We're going to fight a bunch of undead pirates. I wonder how Kimler would feel about that. He would be like, how corny, how weird. What a different culture. I would be bothered by them too. I'd be like, you guys are a bunch of weirdos wearing peg legs. Come on, just get a new leg. Get a fleshy new leg. Not an issue. The Crooked Moon. I'm really upset they hate me. It's my fault they hate me, sure. And I agree with that. I do not blame them. They've got a big army. Could I easily destroy them? I think so. Outside of Scar Snake, they would need a lot of buffs in order to keep their infantry going towards me. Otherwise, they would collapse easily and quickly against all the fear and terror that I can bring to the fold. Oh, that's very good. If they keep on felling like that, he's going to be able to stop any agent from attacking him easily. You just have to hope that they keep on felling, to keep on trying whenever they have a low chance to succeed. Bad job, Katra. But Yvonne is calling in a call of Aaron Tree. Looks like the Empire, my friend. Look at that necrotic seaport. The undead legions grow, but not even our master can oversee every battle. More sires are required. Other vampires needed to help bring about the eternal night. Interesting. Can I help you? Why are you over here? Are you going to have to moose you on? Maybe. 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 Alright, good on. You have your own thing going on, correct? Aquitaine. I shall upgrade you. Baston. Can we taint? The Forest of Arden is over here. What else do I need? We'll start from the top and move down. Kimler. Do. do they win yet? They haven't won yet now. Well, while they're doing that, I'm going to come over here to get some treasure. They're going to be annoying. I'm going to go grab some treasure. What do you want? And you can move over here to That's raid. Spread more corruption, that's the idea currently. Spread more corruption. Bohemond, you're level 20. I'm gonna give you points into immortality. One point into immortality. He shall live forever. I made you an undying leader. You should be happy. Okay. You're welcome. It is nice. I know you haven't moved. Do you have the money? Quick a failure. Well, you had a good run of it. Moonvard shall wait. Here's Clara Helsnick. I'll have to level her up. I didn't really want to pick her up yet. The upkeep is 234. Boo. But we're going to use her. We're going to use her where, though? That's a good question. Let's use her. Hmm. That's a good question. What else I feel like would easily destroy that agent? We'll try. We'll try. Come on. Let's go. I'll keep you here. But I need you to spread more corruption. I still don't have the money yet to fully make every location pacified. It's been a challenge for me. The corruption over here in Krellsburg is going up. Why is that, though? Osmosis. Okay. Oh, very good. I'm upgrading more things. It seems to be helping. I need one more blood kiss, too, if I want to get another tier two. Or get my one tier two. Yeah, the Count has some interesting stuff. He still has his Necrofex, if I remember how that's pronounced. I probably don't. Ha! No, we've got to upgrade a few locations if I want to get higher tier stuff. I'm still using very low tier armies, but to be fair, we're still, like, what, on 50 plus turns? It's pretty wild how many episodes we've had, but we've kind of spent it. Oh my god, he burned it down. He came here to spite me. Is he going to rebuild it? I doubt it. So I'm going to go over there to actually rebuild it. 
because I want to go through the Wood Elf lands. I could ignore him. I wouldn't even mind having a treaty with him. Let him have those lands. I mean, I want ports, sure, for money. But if he wants to keep it, I'll let him keep it. Finding the Wood Elves is going to be such a full... Just, man, I'm like not looking forward to it. I, I have no actual articulation to convey to you how much I'm going to dread fighting them. But I have to fight them. Thankfully, the Crooked Moon is fighting them too. At least the Wood Elf, the primary Wood Elf faction of... No, that's not Arculon. That's the King's Glade. But anyway, I need to go to their Oak of Ages. Then the attrition will stop. I wonder. I could try to run through it, I suppose. I would lose my reliability, but it would make my life so much easier, right? Kind of. But it's power, more growth, more income. Look at what else we can pick up. We'll pick up these two. Spread vampire covens. The tenants of Lamia encourage vampires to inveigle themselves into the mortal populace. Moonvard, let's go. I hate doing it, but you've got to do it for me. Very nice. Ah, oh, my money is gone. Let's take the vampiric corruption and growth. Heinrich, it's time for you to pick up treasure. Who is it? A very small army. One that is not a threat to me. That gives me more money. Materials at sea, so construction costs of all buildings will go down by 30%. Six turns and income goes up by 10% in addition to beginning a sort of strife. Well, that's a decent amount of money, isn't it? Any schools nearby? No, not that I can tell. So we'll come over here now. I own that part of the sea, the ocean. Very nice. Alright, what else am I going to give you? Ambushing an enemy army would be great. That would reduce attrition at sea. You know what? Let's get all that leadership. It's a lot of leadership. Whenever I attack, it's plus 15. But, like, never break. Flesh Shaper. Let's go. Set him an upgrade. Right. We'll take that at tier 4. Order low. More corruption. Everyone's getting more corruption. I can't wait to be able to change up my buildings finally. So we took them out, or we did something great. Let's go over here to pick up more public order for everyone. I will finally have peace in my lands. I've been waiting for that forever. I'll be able to get more Sylvanians too to join me. That's cool. I cannot believe how powerful the upgrades are. Man, the vampire counts have gotten like all the love from Warhammer 1. If you really think about like the content they've gotten, holy crap. It's insane. Bohemon. I'm gonna bring him down over here. Oop, my bad. I keep misclicking. <laughs> That's okay though. Bohemon has time to make errors. Look at Belagar and his large army. I can't wait to fight them. I want to get over there to fight them. They haven't really done much over here, haven't they? No, they haven't. I'll conquer the vaults. All of it. I'll fight the dwarves if I need to. Or leave them alone. This night. It's going down a little bit. Alright, I can only have one friend. The vampire counts would be a better so friend. Well... I don't know yet, actually. Well, Trade agreement would be nice. Sigmar. Hey, 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 hey. By Sigmar. Yeah. No, no. Okay. He told me no. I gotta wait then. Well, it's improving, I suppose. That'll work. Dreadfully. They're not very sure about me, are they? Oh, hold on. Hell yeah, dude. That's so much more money. Look at that. 9,700. I finally have a trade partner. All that waiting for a trade partner, and I finally have one. Who calls? Giants and demons. Are... Let's go look then around. Maybe someone else would like to trade. The like better phone. The laws of chivalry demand. If I... needs must. Yeah. Okay. They'll be my little friend. I'd love for them to become my vassal. I'm gonna try to make them my vassal later. They'll be my little buddies. My the only living Duke of <laughs> Bretonia <laughs> will be Cassian de. Bev I just like bumbled that. Cassian de Pervon. I like to say it with like a flourish because it's very dramatic and I just completely just got tongue tied. <laughs> oh well. Lothern. Oh, number one, right. Look at you go. It's in a turn now. I'm now making 10,000 dark magic. I can certainly upgrade my army. I can certainly get a new army, but as you well know, I still have not been able to upgrade my buildings very much. So we're going to continue doing that for several turns now until I feel satisfied. I could use one tier four, one tier five location, 
Then I can get high tier units. Count Noctilus, he's moving. I'll let him keep his lands right now. I'm making so much money from him just trading with me. Plus having mobile vampire allies sounds great. Think about it like this. I now have a potential counter to Ulthuan whenever they eventually attack me. If they do, guess who I have nearby? The Count. The Count, if I ally him, may join me. The Crooked Moon, it really depends. I still have to fight the Empire, so I don't really have a choice on that front. Unfortunately, that is true. But I do want to peace treaty for now. Not so much later. The Vampire Counts, they're expanding. We fought together against the Empire. Careful oh. No, no, we can't do that. You're very weak, and there's no point. It would not benefit me. So now we get to get ready to go after the Wood Elves. We've got to go burn down the King's Glade. I'll need more powerful units, I think. I'll need a lot to fight them. Come, Flesh Shaper. Wait, 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 wait. Before you do that, go after that agent. Wounded. What can I pick up now? Blood Knights. Right, right. They're very good. That is true. Another one. Character assassinated. One more Blood Kiss. So now, with all that money, with all that public order... Oh, wait, wait. Do you know what that means? Hold on. Let's go look at our events real quick. Uh-huh. Materials at sea. Three more turns for that one. So public order is at plus six. Okay, so it won't always be that high, but... I can get a better tax rate over here. Or growth. We'll get to growth and corruption. We'll get more growth and corruption. Wasteland. I'll help you later. Growth and corruption. If you're at tier 4 or 5, I can get more vampiric libraries or just get them to begin with. How's over here? Yeah, yeah. Foster Terror. Another one. Focuson. Very unhappy. But they grew too. So, you're growing. I don't really need that, I suppose. I can get much better necromancers. And they're pretty much free. I can get a lot of necromancers, actually. It's unique to me. To get that many, I think. Let's make sure we're getting all the corruption up. Alright, after that, we'll get our walls up. Get some more growth here, too. One more turn until four. Oh, we'll just save that up. That'll put me at tier four. Then I'll be able to get my load set of darkness and my corpse card. I can get my black coach. So what we'll do, we'll move over to the border. Moonvard is still healing up. Oh yeah, he'll still be fine to heal up when he's over here. Oh, fighting here is just gonna be a absolute nightmare. He's inside, right? He is inside. We're looking at two armies. You would be able to reach me in time. Orion has a lot of powerful things. They're not trained. He's only level 6. Kimler is level 24. Correct. Okay. Well, let's give you a new unit. Get rid of, well, instead of disbanding. Why don't we get rid of a zombie unit? We'll combine it like that, yeah. And then you'll take your Sternsman. I'll have you get rid of some Spearmen. Oh, right, right. <laughs> I just said that. Combine. Combine these two. Those two. He's gone. Now we can go grab more Sylvanian Crossbowmen. Now I have two range units. I'll have 160 for Sylvanian Crossbowmen. We'll need a new unit name for them. And now we can end our turn again. Populations are growing. These two will work together. They'll attack together. If I lose everything here, so be it. But I'm going to go all in. I'm going to go all in. I wish you were isolated, though. That would have been the best. The best thing ever. The trade were been I wish, like, if you were to really provide very lucrative trade, that the fashion that you trade with would at that point begin to like you more because of the fact that it's a lot of money. Think about that. You've got a hefty trade agreement with another faction, another nation, another state. You'll be more inclined to keep peace with them because you want that to keep on going. It's a mutual 
beneficiary type of agreement that two people can only begin to grow from. Oh, Nordland. Excuse the tomb breath now. No, I won't join his war. He's only fighting one war against a minor faction who hopefully will not destroy him. If they do, then I'll go fight them, but I'll just have him confederate with me. He'll be safe after that. Ah, uh, Vorn's come down. Hello, Vorn. Now. Right, let's go after those who are yes, here. The curse of years. You did it. Now you're level 8. That gave you a new level. We'll give you a point into wound. And over here. Then for Bohemon. Very low chance to succeed, unfortunately. What about the vampire? Damaging the building would be cool. It's only tier 2, really. No wonder they can't confederate. I guess they can't get enough amber. That's a positive thing. They haven't been conquering. You fool! <laughs> You're the one who did it. Don't yell at me. I didn't do anything. All right. Let's see. You're gonna upgrade. We're gonna take. What else are we gonna take? More growth for now. Yeah. So we need to grow quickly. Seven turns to go for that one. That would take four turns just to get there. What about you? You're still growing. And over here. Ah, here we go. My capital could finally upgrade. A cursed city when a vampire marches forth, the cities of other realms fear. Where should the night lords invade, they become accursed places. Sure, we'll take that. Okay. It is now unfortunately time for the worst war ever. Hold on, he's allied to two factions. Let me check it out real quick. Torgavon, how many are you allied to? Because if you're only allied to the King's Glade, then I'll be okay. You called? Oh crap, he's allied to three. What do you need? You're allied to two. Argolon's allied to two. What else? Let's see, defensive alliance. These two will come in to help them. Now that is truly unfortunate. What if I went after the Oak of Ages instead? Could I move in if I were to raid? Don't rush me. I can move across their lands if I did that. Interesting. What? Just happened there. What? <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I don't know why he flipped. I've never seen that. But we might actually try to just move through here. Did attack me, I can always come back to fight them again, but that would be interesting, I think. We'll try avoiding a war with them for now. Oh, that's really funny. That is really, really funny. Let's end our turn again. I'm now making 11,000. Well, before I end my turn, let's go see. I am ready. No, they don't want to join me. I bet when they lose their army, they will. Things are improving here, and they still don't want any treaties with me. Thou may speak. What about you, Vlad? It is done. Interesting. So Vlad is still alive. This night, Manfred and this Vlad coexist. So together they own 16 settlements. That's a lot of vampire corruption. Aversion. But why want? though? Now, the Celestial College and disagree with that. <laughs> disagree with that. Right, hold on before we try again let's give him money we cannot oh god yes listen I want your money you want my money and I have a bit of technology that will spread corruption into their lands so yeah let's see about this real quick if they attack me that's gonna be awful and I'm gonna die horrible well re die horribly not move again but I think it would be funny to just cross. That's a very Kimmler thing to do. He should actually have a bonus to moving through because he has a inherent knowledge of the barrows there. The guy's able to move in. He trolls them a lot. He really does too. That's like in the lore. Kimmler's like, ha 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 ha, I know things. I personally wouldn't try to fight them, but. 
as you can tell, I don't want to fight them right now. Mostly because they're just all together. That's like multiple stacks all together. I would have to bring in maybe like one more stack before I felt like really good about it. Everyone is gone. Crace is gone. I wish there was like more to do in the Empire itself because it would be more enjoyable to play as a minor faction if you had like more to do. But the Old World is actually just, there's not a lot to it. There's not a lot to the actual Empire part of things. If the map was like huge and you had like other foes to fight, much more variety in terms of just what you're able to go against and more lands to conquer. But a lot of the provinces for a lot of the counties are incredibly small. Like some of them even only have like a capital in like one town. It's really tiny. But you got Bohemond, wow. Yes. Wait, who did you attack? Who are you fighting, Wood Elves? I'm kind of curious about that. Who do you attack? Wood Elves. King in the woods. Crooked Moon, right. The Crooked Moon. Find me, grave Interesting. I could reach you. Protector of the Oak. This could be my time to shine. It is night. That is true. Yes. Death awaits. You're level two now. Well, that's good. Why don't you get specialist? All right, chance to succeed in the future. Plus Shaper, why don't you steal Destroy. technology? You're now level nine. Okay, put your points into invocation and curse of undeath. And Moonvard. I hope you're ready. Blood Knights are too far. I would bring them here. Destruction. I shouldn't be doing this right now. I really shouldn't be doing this right now. Kill them. <laughs> I'm in trouble. Oh god, I'm in so much trouble. Let's go kill Orion. We'll go to King's Glade, hopefully take it. I'm fighting him alone. I'm fighting an avatar of the woods alone. You know, that usually goes well. And you're fighting him in his own domicile. That's uh, what smart people do. I'm an idiot. I'm a fool. But I've got to keep all of you on your toes. You saw that, right? I was like, oh, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to pet. No, no, I'm doing it for all of you because I have a high chance to lose. And I'm okay with that. Let's begin deployment. So let's have a look at how we're going to do this real quick. It's going to be a bad one. I have not fought the Wood Elves before and we're already fighting their leader. I've got Blood Knights and I've got the Devils of Short Shafen. Those are going to be nice, I hope. I think between all of them we're going to do some nice damage, but uh, Spears are over here. We're going to reinforce. We're going to keep it dense. We're going to just take our time, move in. Camel Race are going to be kind of behind that. Camel are going to be up here in the front lines. And now you crazy old coot. Let's get moving. Time to bring in the hordes again. You know how it works. I know how it works. Hey, Crow. That's my buddy Crow. Went to school together. Necromancy, hi. Used to get bullied. He helped me out a lot. Good buddy. Had to pay him in souls. <laughs> Alright. I think that'll work for now. That'll be my fleshy wall. I have four... Like, just enough to save some of my magic. Look at that. I love, I've never done this in any campaign. None of my campaigns I've ever done this. Like, I've done, like, the whole zombie horde thing, but Vlad was nothing compared to Kimmler when it comes to, like, pure spellcasting might. I'm probably better at the vampire counts now, but... Nah, I, dude. Dude, it's just crazy. Oh, they're very tired. Good, good. Let's hope I can chase them all down. I just want to have a few saved. And yeah, we'll just come through here. What's the range? Oh, that's... Okay. Oh, we, get, we gotta wait then. Let's kind of come over here. Just before we get into the range. Nice. Regeneration went up. You ready, guys? Nearly, nearly. Let's move in now. I'm going to issue targets whenever we 
get to the mall. Oh, no, no, you get to move back. You get to move back. You don't get to go out there and die right away. That's a bad idea. Kimmler, you too. Hold on. Move back, move back. Can't do a lot here, buddy. Unless you brought in some skeleton warriors. Shut that out. Thrill them a little bit. Alright. Knights, I want you guys to move. Oh god, the blood knights did not move. They're in trouble, aren't they? Yeah, they're in big trouble. Alright, so I got like one group right behind them. Let's begin to look at targets now. I'm gonna go through all my zombies real quick. We'll try to give everyone a target. We gotta put them after some of these blasted archers just to keep them from being able to shoot me. Well, they can move and shoot, so it doesn't really matter. They're wood elves. They're annoying. I'm here to lose a lot. It's okay, though. Alright, so you two. Come over here. Crimson Fangs, I wish you wouldn't do that. I know you like to die. Very good at it. Alright, x Race, so you're going to move over here to go after the Wild Riders too. The Devils, they're going to move over here to go after the Wild Riders as well. Everyone goes to kill them. They're very strong and I know they are. So you two come over here and go after more of them. Krell, why don't you just kind of push in and start beating some elves up. We'll get a ride in a minute. How's he doing? He's got how many? 126 already? Yeah, he has. That is correct. Can race are probably already in the fight. What's Killer doing? He's doing okay. We're gonna bring him back though. We're gonna bring him back over here. Blood Knights, you too, come on. Come over here. Then move over here. Then go charge at the Wild Riders again. It's just how we take care of everyone. It's just how we take care of those who bother me. Alright, I'm gonna bring in some minions to go hit him behind their lines. It's gonna be some good stuff. Alright, come over here. Zombies, go bother them. Just keep them away from what we're doing over here. I think they're gonna have a pretty bad day, so let's go ahead and bring in some more zombies. Working conduit. Go after more of these guys. Krell, if you want to try to go after Orion, that'd be the best thing for you to do right now. Hawk Riders are moving in. Yeah, they're pretty tough. The right flank, you can just see that their Hawk, or their Great Eagles are actually moving in to hit me. We got some Glade Guards who are moving over here. Let's go get them. Hex Raves, we're going to go... Well, actually, let's continue fighting the Great Eagles. Great Eagles are fantastic. They're very strong. Let's see. Karen Race, they're going to be in the middle, causing fear and terror. The goal is just to try to hit them for a longer period of time, just so that fear will begin to break them. The Wild Riders have broken. Let's go after the Great Eagles now. So we're going to get my Devils to go after the Great Eagles. They're flying. They're trying to fly. My Blood Knights will go after the Glade Guard. The Hex Race will come over here to go after the Glade Guard too. The Zombies are just kind of going out there to keep a few units busy. I'm going to have Krell go after Orion, I think. I should be able to win that one, actually, if I do that. Come over here to bring in more Zombies. Tree Cannon are going to take forever to break. I don't even know how we're going to kill them. Not with, like, low-tier stuff. Wildwood Rangers? Sure, they can get a lot of kills. They're going to be able to get those numbers up, but let's hope that I'm going to be able to do so much more to them with my special units, my elites. I don't know how it's all going to play out yet, but so far, so good, I think. So far, it's going very well. The Devils are going after the Great Eagles. The Great Eagles are dying. I'll get to other Great Eagles in a minute. Ah, uh, right, the Hounds. The Hounds will do very well against me, and they are doing very well against me. But now Krell is fighting Orion. Oh, that's very suitable, isn't it? All right, let's grab one more group. Bring him right behind. Oh yeah, buff everyone up over here. Chris Hughes is okay. Let's go buff up Krell. Maybe heal up Krell afterwards. Just let Krell get some buffs going just so he's able to beat Orion. Next, we're going to go look at my units again just because we need to make sure that they're all moving. They're always moving. They've got to be there every day. Back to the Deepwood Scouts. Let's see. We've got Graveguard in the middle who are being hit. We've got some Skeletal Warriors who are over here on the right flank. We're going to move them over here further just to make sure that they're okay. Let's go after these Deepwood Scouts. Blood Knights will come over here to finish off these Ash Hawks or Ashen Hawks. What do they look like? I actually haven't seen them yet. Okay. They're all right. They're okay. Nothing to write home about. All right. Let's go over here. Right over here. Crazy Spearman. Heinrich's done a great job. Let's now debuff. Who's left to debuff? All ah, right. These units here. Debuff all of these units over here. Looks like Krell is one, right? Oh, yeah. He's absolutely one. My buffs alone were suitable to take on Orion. It's crazy because I'm playing Orion in my other campaign. It's like me killing myself here in this fight. I'm playing Orion in my other campaign simultaneously. 
And here I am destroying him. Well, Kimmer is like pretty much gone in that campaign too, so that's about fair, I think. Dryads, they're trying so hard. These are angry, angry spirits. But, Kimmler is doing it. Okay, the devils chase them away. Let's go after this group. It's a lot of Glade Guard. We can get them. What about my knights? How are my knights doing? Oh, they destroyed like all the archers, except for these. These have got to go. Hex Rays come over here. We'll kill them too. I'll chase after everyone. So we've taken out Orion. Great Eagles are trying to attack Kimmler. He's got a great physical resistance cloak to use. Good luck. <laughs> Finish off the Rangers. There's very few left. Very, very few left. Now we'll go after more of the tree kin. I don't have a lot of magic to heal up my units with. Krell already destroyed everyone. So kill these dryads. Let's come over here and kill more of these dryads. No, no, no. Come over here. Come over here. You got it. The devils are destroying all these glade guard. They're going to be able to make it away, but at least we got most of them. All right, next we'll go after the tree kin. The tree kin are a nasty lot. I wonder if we can actually get them though. They're so sturdy. They're just an armored group. Come over here if you want to try to get them. All right, zombies are finally leaving. How many did I lose in that fight? A lot. I mean, I had over 4,000. I have just over 2,000 now. It's not like they're all here still. All right, who can I heal up? Let's go heal up these Karen Wraiths. Let's get a few of them back. They got 71 kills. That's a very high amount. Having such an elite unit early on, it's fantastic. I love it. Alright, let's go over here now and kill this Glade Guard. What? The entire map will come after them? Okay, done. No, zombies can just keep them busy. They don't even need to do that much. Just keep them going. Try to heal up this Grave Guard close by. You got it, pal. Or I thought you did. Actually, you can heal the Blood Knights. They're important too, especially when we're taking on archers. Yeah, with the wood elves, you just need like tools to be able to hit like every line they have. The devils, how many kills do they have? 46. Got them all, pal. Got them all. I think if I played another Sylvania campaign, I would want to have like a unified Sylvania from the start. That would like at least let me move on to another stage without having to fight all of that. Because generally, you just have to like rely on whatever starting units you have. Like the really powerful ones, and then you just gotta hope that your lord is gonna be able to take on a lot of enemies. Pardon me, you're still alive too. These dryads haven't. It's really weird. They usually break. Are you unbreakable? Interesting. You're not. You're still here. All right, we're gonna chase them though. When they break, we're gonna chase them. There we go. We've got a lot of these uh, Grave Guard coming back now. No, 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 no. Let's go get them. It's time. They wanted to play with the big boys here, the big undead boys. Definitely want my Hex Wraiths going in. They're at 102. Especially with a chance to deal like Flaming Attack. I've got like any type of like banner to. Let's see. It's called the Banner of Eternal Flame, if I remember right. If I have that. Man, they're in a bad position. Okay, so. That is it. Battle's over. Close victory. We took out Orion. Of course, we got two other armies to fight, and I'm pretty devastated right now. The Dryads, wow, look at her kills. Orion's over 200 kills. The Treekin, over 200, 156. The Archers, I kept very busy. No, if, uh, if, uh, if um, Orion was at a higher level, I would be in huge trouble. That's his name, Orion. How could I forget him? <laughs> I was actually drinking my champagne. I was trying to not. I was like talking as I was like taking a sip. That was a bad idea too. All right, I'm gonna take what little replenishment we can get. There isn't a lot of it, but I need any of it that I can pick up. All right, we wiped out their entire army. That's nice and all, but uh, what can I do over here? It's level 25. Cool. Let's get rid of more attrition. Oh, I'm really not losing too many, am I? Not really, no. Alright. I wonder how many I would lose if I auto-resolve that, right? Oh, 
I don't really know. No, we're going to have to go push in, aren't we? We've got a tree men, though. Hmm. A lot of archers. Right. I won't be able to find their infantry easily. It's only a garrison. I'll give it a go. I don't normally do that, but I'm going to give it a go. So we are going to loot and occupy. I now have King's Glade. I now have a tier 4 location. Okay, we're going to pick up the Awakened Battlefield. That would let me get Doom Riders if I get the Necromantis Tower. Nice. Alright, so we'll take Corruption. We're going to take that Awakened Battlefield. Six turns for that one. We're going to get the Necromantis Tower. So we need a Forbidden Library. Can't build any walls here. Right. What else do I need? That would let me get Binding Cairns. That would let me get Hordes. Hordes would just do a lot to help, for sure. What else do I want, though? It's Public Order and Growth. Yeah, I'm going to get the Binding Cairns. Grave times. Grave times, you say. Now I have Talson, but I'm also extremely beat up right now. I wonder if I could... I can't make it out of here in time. Would you be able to hit me? Let me see. Not possible. Kind of, it looks yeah. like. I can't move any further. Follow me. I will All right, Moonvard. You two are going to take turns healing. Well, going to need Lightning Strike. I'm going to wait for my zombie dragon. So we are going to wait for that. I'm going to... Actually, let's pick up more corruption. Get all that corruption going. That's a lot of corruption. Okay. And then we'll take more corruption. Or what else do we have? Yeah, we'll take more corruption. Alright, who can I actually summon up? I can summon up a few. Zombies. I'm just going to combine. Got to take what I can. We can also raise up... What is going to raise up? Some knights. Cool. But I can raise up, let's see, one group of you guys. Let us make do. Take that. One group of you guys over here. Spread the rot. Oh, am I out of haha, <laughs> very, very funny. Alright, that at least gives me a few more units to work with. I doubt they want a peace treaty, though that would be great. I know you're angry with me. I know you're livid. Ooh, look at that, yeah. Lotharin's like, hey, screw you, dude. So I've got the wood elves. I've got your entire army. You're not fighting me yet. What do you need? Consider Bond. lucky that we did. Orders? I'm worried about them coming to get me. Fiend. Your presence here affect. Well, they're fighting Pedavon too, so I wonder what they're gonna do with that. Pedavon's already beaten, it looks like. I don't think they have more land to use. Okay, everyone. Moment of truth. Let's find out if I screwed the pooch here. Finally pushing me back. They've got two armies. Only one should be able to reach me. Lotharin's not fighting Kalidor, so Lotharin's just busy uniting all of Wolf of One still. I still want to play a Wolf of One campaign in Mortal Empires. I haven't done that yet. There's a lot of Mortal Empire stuff I haven't done yet. So we beat one major enemy. I'm gonna have to switch out. I could have Moonvard begin to raid here to stay close by, but to also replenish. I just need to have one turn of safety. Just one turn where I can unfortunately try to make it I'm gonna lose most of my army which is fine because if I beat the wood elves I can go back rebuild and then we can finally get ready to push on again because my goal again is to get to the black pyramid did they leave me alone I don't know I don't I think we passed all the wood elf factions I thought they were usually lumped up together let's find out please tell me that they're just gonna ignore me for now oh no Oh no. Look, he's coming down. Oh, she didn't make it. Well, that's good. <laughs> oh, she blocked my army. Okay. So, Moonvard, man, I'm proud of you for what you've done. You've done a great job, right? Very proud of you. But, but. We're going to move you out real quick, okay? Because we need Kimmler to come into King's Glade. Let us make He's got to patch up for just a little bit, right? He needs a little bit of love. Okay, Flesh Shaper. Let's see what agents we can get. 
you failed. That's unfortunate. You got Bohemond. So Bohemond's not here. Let's come on down. We'll try to go to Dave's capital. Clara, she's over here. We can try to wound an agent. Very low chance to do so. We'll go after her capital because we need to level up. We'll go after anything that lost. Her, I suppose. She's losing a lot too. Look at that. Wow. Oh, good work. You leveled up. Let's hope you don't die. Spread corruption. I mean, you are here. Spread corruption for me. I'm gonna get to Oak of Ages next, or maybe like one of their cab. I don't really know which location we're gonna go after yet, but I'm not wedging war deep in a wood elf land. I did not anticipate that one. Got to tell you. All right, let's have a look over here. What would be the cool thing to get? Octane. Your growth is going up, right? Yeah. That would diminish campaign movement. As a border region, that would be pretty cool to have. Let's see. In the region. We'll take that. A Bellfire Hearth. The stone's over here. They'll be ready in one turn. Earth is still going up. Let's put on again. These are very expensive. They are helping me get my growth up. Okay. So these two will wait now for a little bit longer. Let's go look at relations Lord around the, the map. Dead. The Broken Point Nose guys, they love me. They're like, hey, you're pretty cool. You're beating up Wood Elves. We hate Wood Elves too. I'll have you speak now. All right, you're only rank 45. I don't think you're doing that well. I will listen to your flotilla is not doing that well. The nation called the Empire. Ooh, they no longer want to trade with me. Why is that? Well, whatever. I will hear what you have to say. I'll give you. Oh, I can't give you anything yet. I need to declare war on Nordland and Midland. So Nordland, I think I have what? contact with you. Yeah, yeah, I do. Deliver your missive and then get from my presence. I'll declare war on Nordland. If they bring someone, I'll just get up a new agent, a new lord, and destroy them. So. No. She's not looking great. I just want to spend like one turn or two turns healing up. I can heal up faster than they can. She's losing, so if they even move into my lands right now. Oh, look at that. Tyrion might. Yeah, Tyrion is currently attacking me. He's ranked two in power, so we've got to watch out for him. If only I had like more allies over here. If I can get like all the pirates to fight them, that would be pretty cool. So the Oak of Ages, they're going to have a huge garrison. I think, yeah, Kimler can handle a battle alone, so we can get Kimler to go over there, take it. I'll have to gently and carefully hop from location, from glade to glade, until we destroy all of the Wood Elf lands. These are going to give me extremely high tier locations to recruit from, so at the very least, I'll have a southern recruitment area. Whether or not I can keep the peace, I don't really know. The public order issues are going to be massive here, but thankfully I've got technology that, or at least a bloodline that can help me out. That was Argulon. Let's wait for a minute now. I know that Nordland hates me. I'm trying to keep peace to the east now that we have war to the west. Lutheran finally came after me. In my head, how that would work is that they would hear of the Wood Elves being attacked, how Orion was defeated in battle, and how the woods are being burned to the ground. She moved back. So now I get a moment of reprieve. And because of Pedavon, I have a little area where I'm safe. Take her lands. I shall do that. Lunvard, you wouldn't be able to make it over there in time. Kimla, you just need like one more turn. I'd rather like give you more knights. Honestly. There we are. That'll do it. Who's unhappy? Darkasan is, is very much unhappy. Let's grab that for defenses. That's for growth. Correct. All right, wasting lands. I know that you're finally doing your thing. So I'm gonna build over here. Let's kind of think about it real quick. So we want one location close by to do well, right? We want one location to be for other types of recruitment. So if we look at it, we have a scoured iron mine. I do not have a scoured iron mine back here because I haven't built one over my capital. I'm going to build one there, so it looks like we're going to have a lot of tools for recruitment. That's fine. The knockers are even over here. What other buildings do we have? Okay, so like these would be for knights, correct? I could switch it up and have my knights come from over here. 
right? Those would be black knights. What about, you know, the scary knights? Oh, right, right. I can't get them here. I can't recruit them normally. You know, my scary knights. So we could change it up. We could destroy that, the binding circle. And instead, build it over here. But for now, let's get more money. I'm going to want some vampire crypts. I'm going to want... We could destroy that for growth, even though I like having that extra growth. We could destroy it for now. We're going to need walls eventually too, aren't we? Yeah. Mm. Kind of a tough one, even though I want the extra income. And I want the technology access or whatever else it'll give me. That would let me get Vargos and Vargais, so I can get a lot of my creatures here too, if I get that. So I need that for a lot of things. So, um... But now let's grab that. Let's grab the ghost fence, because I need to just have walls everywhere. Camel are going to spend one more turn rebuilding. I want to be able to go back home and actually get things that I want. Eat something that I want. So we've got like one more big word of fight before I can really do that. I'm a little bit confused, sure. By default, I'm usually confused. <laughs> she did it again. She's level four. I'm going to put a few points over into damage building. Plenty of troops too. I hope I could level her up just so that she's going to become powerful for us and help us out. I can't really go after anyone. Well, I'm just out of money. So we'll move you over here for now. We've got to watch out for Lothurn to the west. How many factions is he even fighting? He's probably fighting a lot of factions right now. Oh, the dwarves hate me, right? Yeah. Empire is beginning to really dislike me now. Well, I've got treaties with a bunch of factions that they do not care for. You're fighting how many? Champion. You're fighting Kalador, the Barrow Legion, and the Busions. Oh boy, I'm gonna be his focus. I will grant you the respect I'm gonna be his buddy boy. Are they gonna make me go burn down Lothurn? Ah, here's one. Here's one. Alistair's gonna come over. Who else then? Okay. Well, we've got Musion, who's got a pretty big army. If I can end this war over here quickly enough, I can go handle the High Elves. And I'm not going to take their lands. I'm going to actually burn them down. I think they're all... Wait, they're not all in hospital to me, so that wouldn't be too bad. I could actually take them, I suppose. I didn't think I would go to Wolthawan, but I might have to for a time until they want a peace treaty. So I'll have to beat them into the dirt, probably, because they're not going to want a peace treaty. Treaty with Elves? Well, these aren't Bretonians. I shouldn't do a faux like, French accent. <laughs> I don't have enough buffers over here, and unfortunately, the, yeah, I'm just like caught between a rock and a hard place. If the Empire gets me, then I'm in big trouble, but we're going to see. I might be able to work things out somehow. I just need to focus on one enemy right now. I'll raise up a lord or a lady and just raise dead quickly to bring up a new army for that lord or lady to defend that location with because they're not going to be able to stop me. I don't think so, anyway. The Hyals are powerful. I don't remember fighting. Have I fought? the High Elves as the Vampire Council for? I don't think I have. I haven't really... See, that, that's why, like, new starting locations is fantastic, because I'm now pairing against enemies that I don't normally fight. This is, like, new for me. I'm like, whoa, what's what's going on here, man? It's pretty wild. They're using a lot of agents on me. I'm fully expecting her to come back out anytime now. She didn't that time, though. It looks like they're just playing it easy. Taking it easy. It's back to me again. I'm still raiding. Okay. Gambler, it's time. How bad is it? Oh, it's actually not that bad. I will fight it out, though. They don't have a lord, but if I take this location, I think that means it'll negate all the issues I have with the corruption while I'm lurking in their lands. Alright, got this on. 4,000. Brion, I think you're okay. Capitaine, you need walls. Ustion's fine. The Wasting Lands are over here. That would give me Fire Skulls. Very cool. Up north, what about over here? Yeah, upgrade that. Because we need more higher tier locations to help out with. Alright, so we have that. I want my, uh... Let's see. That's tier 3 already, so I already have that recruitment locations. So I don't need that. I'm good on that front. I don't have proper walls here, but I can take this too. It's for my graveguard. 
Make some cheaper, man. Gives me more money. Alright. Less shaper. I don't have any money for you, man. I wish I did. Blood Mon will be back in one turn. Cool. Mara would be powerful, I'm sure. But, uh... Moonfire won't be able to do too much. Not yet. So... Let's go. We've got to. We're going to take the Oak of Ages now. Now we get to burn down the... Well, not burn down, but occupy the Oak of Ages. I'm going to turn it into the Oak of Undeath. That feels like a suitably Kimmler thing to do. Del Vokas is fighting me. I didn't expect the High Elves to bother me. I'm hoping they'll leave me alone in time. Maybe in time they will. I'll, like, end a turn. They'll just be like, hey, you know what? Peace treaty. They'll go do their own thing. They need to go fight other enemies. What are the Dark Elves doing, right? Like, what are they up to right now if they're not actually fighting them? Bunch of idiots. All right. Let's have a look quick. We need to have the zombies move over here. I'm going to move out some, like, elite group over here. I'm going to give you, like, one group of zombies. Actually, I'll give you two because I can summon in more. Take these. Karen Race, you're going to come over here. I'm going to give you all the knights. So you're going to be, like, my very elite group. All right. In the middle, more zombies. Lots of spearmen. Lots of skeletons. One group of zombies. We'll have Kimmler. We'll have the devils, too. Alright, let's bring in more zombies. Come over here. I don't normally do this, but I thought it would be interesting to try something new today. Come on in, zombies. Come on in. Devils, you'll wait. You're going to go to your own group, actually. Let's go. I'm going to bring in more zombies as we go up. So don't worry about it. I just have to go after all these archers back here. While we also attack over here. You know what, devils? I'm going to have you go over to the left flank, too. Look at the fodder near me, but... There it is, man. World tree. And I'm marching on it. I can tell you, I didn't plan any of this out. It's kind of been a very impromptu thing for me. Just kind of going, hmm. What would be fun to do today? Oh, that? Yeah. Let's do that. <laughs> let's do that thing today. Come over here. Other knights over here. One in. Let's see. Two grave guard. Come over here. We got more dryads on the way. We got all of these minions in the middle on the way. Devils come over here. Go after more of these friends of theirs. Lich Master, let's go in. Just trying to bring in more minions. Come on, get them away. You want to deal with more zombies, you say? Very well. Oh god, can't let them take out my knights. Actually, you know what? Not the units. Let's just move you back quick. So we'll come over here to fight. We've got a tree, man. I don't really have the spells to attack him right now. I can bring in Krell to go beat him. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. We're just kind of hurting them through the motions, though, it looks like. Let's go after these wild riders. They're pretty tough. Alright. We're going to have to dry edge. We're going to have to everyone. Got some debuffs. Wind of Death is very cool. Pretty strong, but I don't like not being able to support my own army. Kind of bothers me. I think that's understandable, though. Alright. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to heal up my devils real quick, actually. Then we'll summon in some more zombies. Like that. My knights are just going to go after these wild riders. Oh, they're coming after me. That's cute. Well, guess what? Boom, baby. Negating some of that damage. I like my gigantic blob. I'm sure that's going to end well for me. All right. Let's go chase after some more of them. I want you to kind of go after the tree man, actually. So come over here. Go to the tree man. We're bringing some more zombies back here. I can just kind of push you a bit. Kind of a weird one because the formation actually works in their favor. I didn't expect everyone to blob like that, but if you look at it, there's like a bunch of little choke points. It's a very good location for what else to defend on. That much is true. All right, Devils, if you get killed off, I blame you. I just blame you for that. Let's finish off this group. Actually, you two come over here. I want my knights to come out over here too. Let's go. Okay. 
let's heal up my devils real quick. Because they desperately need it. Bring in more minions now. I'm still fighting just like everyone close by. We're gonna keep on pushing though. They're eventually gonna run out of arrows. My can race are gonna destroy these dryads. Just for a cinematic view. Not my finest battle because we got a huge blob over here. Had I thought about it, I probably would've spread things out a little bit more, but I'm still not used to fighting wood elves. I'm not really sure how they're gonna push me, how things are gonna flow. No, I kinda have an idea. I kinda have an idea now. A little bit of one. Come over here. Blood Knights, they're not gonna fight. Come over here, go destroy them. I need to bring in some more minions. So we're gonna bring them in where? Let's come over here to buff things up. It's plus 27 to melee defense, so that's just awesome. All right, who am I gonna heal up now? My, all right, this is a void. Usually longer names do not fit, but that one just had enough characters to be able to fit. So whenever you like name stuff on my Discord, just make sure to not give like a super long name. It's really to work out all the time. All right, the, the tree man's gonna be tough. I just need to get, try to go after him. He's got a chance for magical attacks, so he's got the big chance to do that. All right, come over here. Guys are going. Booms and fangs. Let's see. Let's go through these other wild riders on the flank of my blob. My mighty blob. You can see now they're just beginning to break. Auto resolving might have been better, but I'm really not too sure still because I mean, if I lose anything, it's just cheap units. I'll race dead afterwards. It looks like we've largely gotten them. It's just a lot of mounted units you can easily flee what I have, so it's understandable that we have a hard time getting to them. All right, so, 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 so. Krell, I know you're getting the crap being out of you. That's interesting. Usually doesn't happen to Krell. Krell's like, tree might be too much for me. No, it looks like we did it. We did the thing. The tree's broken and shattered, so we now have the Oak of Ages. That tree, this tree here, my tree. Wow, that's, <laughs> those are some great designs, guys. Nice and detailed. <laughs> Six fifty-six. We're looking at that many loss. We're looking at six sixteen lost for the Wood Elves. You can see, of course, they're just going to have a lot of kills. I'm going to raise dead or just replace what I have lost here. We're going to have the Oak of Ages though. So the cost on a micro level minimal. The gains massive. It's like we just had a lot of protein. Massive gains. The chill guys, we have that unlocked. That's really powerful. The Wood Elves are not completely wiped out. And I should be able to safely travel around here now. So now my goal is just to kind of, yeah, we just need to patch up. It's been a few turns patching up. All right, what else do I want? More corruption, you say? More corruption would be fun. So anything else I want? That's for terror guys, right? That's a bigger aura. I never use gaze in the gash. It's relatively cheap, right? Pardon? 16? My God. I'll put two points into it. <laughs> All right, what, what do I have over here? Do I have any armor? Not really. Brass cleaver, nothing like that. I don't really have a lot of loot, do I? Not really, no. Ward save is pretty okay. 50%, it's got his cloak. Got that, you got Bardic Nightmare, you got the Black Cat. I don't really have too much for you, man. So, Moonvard, you no longer need to raid. We can actually go inside of Talison. It's gonna take a while to actually appropriate the area, but this be I don't think you're gonna be able to take on these two things right now. It's still gonna be a pretty bad war. You're I'm gonna use my arms together. Who shall we destroy? Now the tough part is really gonna begin, right? Because we've got one army led by Lord Daith. He's over Such here in Vol's Anvil in Torgavon. And over here, we've got the Prophetess, and she's over in Widrioth. She's in the Crank Halls of Findel. So if I come over here, Lord Daith could hit me. Unless he's not choosing to move at all. Durthu, thankfully, is not active. He's got a lot of dryads. Oh. I'm not sure if they're going to come after me or not. That's a good question. I'm raising up corruption. 
But now, can we freely move? Oh, we can. Yeah, we can freely move around here. I'm just going to wait here for a minute, though. As we keep the peace. We could probably switch things out, but that's all right. Let's take... I don't need to worry about too much. Let's take more growth and at least corruption. It doesn't really do too much for me, so we'll just take it. Hey, guys. I have your Oak of Ages. That's got to feel pretty bad. Can I do anything to it? I guess I have it. Yeah, I'm immune to attrition. My growth goes up by five for all provinces. All adjacent locations make 100% more income. Dear God. So every location I own will make more income. All right, everyone. We're going to call it here. I want to thank all of you for watching. Leave a like and comment down below if you'd like to see more tomorrow. I look forward to more then. And as always, until that point.